Renters in Vancouver sometimes have to make a tough decision. The home they want to live in or their beloved pet. Tonight, the city is looking to strike a balance between landlords and their tenants. But as Emily Elias reports, a compromise is far from a sure thing. Keeping Muffin and Tigger inside this West End apartment was an ordeal for Andrew Simmons. I had permission from the previous owners to have pets. I just never had it in writing. So what happened was when the building was sold and we had new landlords come in, uh, then they tried to evict me. There you go. But Simmons fought them, took them to arbitration, was ultimately successful and got to keep his cats. With the city poised to look at supporting renters with pets, he hopes other pet owners will not have to go through the same battle he did. Well, I think it's a start because it's always good to have dialogue. The city says over half of Vancouverites are renters. Today, a majority of city councillors voted to come up with ideas to try and keep landlords, pets and renters happy. Maybe they'll pay a, a higher fee to enter into the apartment building. But you know, uh, they've had this in place for over 20 years, 23 years in Ontario. There's no evidence that pet owners are worse tenants than, than non-pet owners. The BCSPCA says there's a crisis when it comes to finding pet-friendly rentals. Many people unable to find a place to live end up giving up their pets. It's the number one reason that animals are surrendered to our shelter in Vancouver and throughout the province. Still, the motion passed by the city today might be a moot point. The Tenancy Act falls under the jurisdiction of the province, and the Minister for Housing says the government has no plans on changing the rules under the Act. Emily Elias, CBC News, Vancouver.